You might be tempted to stay inside on a day like this and wait for the sun, but in Pacific Northwest, that may keep you waiting for some time. Join me on this walk with my pup, and let's see if I can change your mind. With any of these hikes, you have the risk of the light clouding over completely. On days like this, I really appreciate trails like the boardwalk that goes around Heather Lake, because it gives you time for the mist to shift and change while you explore. Bring something to sit on, and a nice lunch can further maximize your probability of views. As long as things aren't clouded over completely, I think the mist enhances the experience. Instead of one static view, you get a dramatic show, and it gives everything a mystical aura. If you're willing to take the chance and embrace it, you also get the added bonus of experiencing these places with less people. Step carefully, because you never know what is under the snow. It can be a bit of a nuisance, but the snowmelt also creates magical waterfalls all around the basin. We have had a late winter this year. Things are just starting to come back to life and transition to summer. It's funny to see snow and hear frogs at the same time. Getting to some of these places is not without a price. For Heather Lake, you can bypass the rough drive, but the wet trail is an unavoidable price of admission. See the notes below for options for getting there. This video hardly does this place justice, but I hope you enjoyed walking with us. Please like and subscribe, it really helps. Thank you.